in the mid 80s. That's the time where we started to have the um, the PC revolution, where we had the Apple computers and the um, the, 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 the TR, the Radio Shack computers, and then finally the, the, the IBM and even some of the compact computers, you know, coming in, into, into fame and glory. <clears throat> For the traditional computing at that time, it was all IBM mainframes, you know, and, the, and companies had big, you know, uh, <coughs> staffs to support that. And in addition, there, there, there was a pretty good size, you know, m mini computer market. So like the, the Dex and the Apollos and the Wang or whatever, <laughs> Wangs or whatever, exactly. They were popular. Right. But there was no local area networks or, you know, anything that really, you know, networked all of the, the, the end user computing devices together. Well, <clears throat> along came this upstart Novell, or whatever. Um, and I think 3Com also had, had, had an offering at, at that time, but Novell really was the preeminent and the ultimate, ultimate winner in that category. And Novell had the, again, novel idea of coming up with a, uh, a configuration that would allow the various desktop computers <clears throat> to network together. So that, that was great. Well, remember, everybody in the IT world was from the IBM mainframe or the, the mini computer market. And this fledgling market, basically, there was no one there. It was just some pioneers that you know, would want to go take, you know, dabble at it and, and, and give, it a, you know, give it a shot. So there's very little expertise, you know, in in the uh, in this arena, you know, and, and and so what what do you do? You know, again, I, I saw the benefit, you know, and I, I I've been in you know, uh, in, in the end user computing over at Polaroid. Polaroid. Mm. Well, I, I was in charge of the end user, you know, computing arena at that and time. What were the end using? Computers like that. Yeah, again, it, it, it was the um, you know the uh, Apple IIs. It was the TRS 80s. And Polaroid you know, endorsed your working having these in the office. Yeah, you, at that time, in the mid you know yeah in you know around 1980 or so. Yes, they they, they, stay, they saw it was inevitable and, and and yes. I thought it was just PCs and some compacts. So, yeah. so, so, in the, so by 1980, a big company like Polaroid. Already saw what was going to happen. They looked ahead. They no, they, they they saw the PCs. They didn't see the, the network. The network was was. But they saw the PCs and they said, yeah. people really. Yeah, they like put this. A, they, they actually established a position to. You know, and that was you. Uh, you. Well, I bid for it and I and I got that. And why did that call to you? What what was it about it that called to you to take that role? I, I I think I just you know I mean even in high school way back I was the first to use this IBM sixteen twenty the sixteen twenty that. Um, they, you know, they first had a computer and they said, okay, well, you know, they said, well, who wants to volunteer to learn how to use it? So it was, it was a class where the teacher didn't know anything, the students, so there was a handful of us that we all learned it together. Yes. So it was like a group effort. <clears throat> to boot this IBM 1620, six punch cards. <coughs> that was the operating system, you know, way back then. Martin, you I remember was, way back I, when? I was a 1401. Yeah. But also the tab shop machines. But again, when, when at that time you had to learn machine language. So if you yeah. wanted to, you know, to, to do an addition as a track, you put it in this register, you put it in this register, you move it here. That's so totally you language. really got that. So by the time I, yeah. you know, ended high school, they'd say, well, they got a Fortran compiler. So it was a, a few more cards to, to load in or whatever. But, they, you know, a big step up. So I was always into the computing, even in engineering school. I always tried to use the computers to do the labs or whatever. And, and so I, was, I had an affinity for, for that. So the person but, or the people who created this job at Polaroid, I'm just really intrigued at the corporate culture. I didn't know what Polaroid Well, I mean, I, I, mean, they, I mean, what happened was people, you know, departments were just buying several at a time here and there, and there was no organization whatsoever. And yeah. I guess, you know, someone saw the handwriting on the walls. So we, better, we, we better, you know, Get some organization to to this and at seven thousand dollars a whack or, or, or whatever and, and you know so so that's what happened so so your job was to look at how to connect 
No, I, I didn't hear, not, not at Polo, Pol when I left Polo, when I actually went to Lockheed Sanders up in Nashville or whatever, you know, again, in, in the, uh, the mid-80s, that's when my, my job there was to look, look at all of these, you know, um, the, the, the three com, the novels or whatever, and, and you know, figure out if, if, there, if there was a, you know, a need and how, how to, so I'm picking a vendor, not trying to cobble together for yourself. Well, I, I would do both of them. Pick, pick and then, and then come up, go. come up with the standard. So anyway, there was no expertise or, or whatever. So I, I ended up going to a computer com, uh, conference. I, you know, probably one of the, the ones out in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but a lot of big com ones here. Comdex. Comdex, probably Comdex in, in Las Vegas or whatever. And it just so happened that there was a, a, a luncheon and. I, I sat next to Ray Norda, the, 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 you know, the, the chairman of oh, wow. and, and just, I, I was there. Wow. wow. You know, and, and, and we got to talking. I said, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm starting to use your devices or whatever. And I, said, I said, but this support's not there or whatever, you know. Mm. And, so and, what's not there? Yeah, I said, the support the or support. whatever. So he says, what do you mean? He says, you, you, you want to get a user group? You want to, you want to, you want to do something? Uh, you know. I said, yeah. <laughs> so I said, Boston Computer Society. What happened? You should do it. I, and, and he said, he says, well, I'll get my assistant here. He'll work with you. We'll, 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 we'll get this set up. Hmm. I said, okay. So I got, ba I got back. His, you know, his assistant. You know, um, so, you know, basically he sent out to all the registered Nobel people in. The New England area postcard saying, "Okay, we're going to have a meeting." I think we, we we went to LaSalle College in Newton. Well, you know, I got a room there, and you know, that was going to sponsor some refreshments the first the first night or whatever. We're going to see what happened, and you know, lo and behold, I don't know, we must have had 40, 50 people. It was a snowy night. Oh. It was like at the seven ninth attack, snowy night or whatever. But that's a real test of people wanting to come to it. Hey, right. Well, remember, no, it was behind <coughs> Novell sent out a letter to their radio. You know, so, snow so I had I had some you know sponsorship, yep. um, you know there, and, and you know from there I mean we we developed some you know, very good you know relationships that continue you know some some of which to to this day and. Um, <laughs> And, and, and that that's how we got we actually got going. And there's a funnier way of, of, of how I actually got this thing moving at at, at Lockheed. Because remember, you know who who are these upstarts or whatever? And again, you know, to them right now, I mean, this was still toys or whatever. And there were very few of us that were. I mean, every, you know, people were starting to get desktops, you know, '85 or whatever. But they weren't linked together. They weren't doing anything. And if they did anything. They connected to the IBM mainframes or the or or, 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 or the back to or, or a bulletin board. Yeah, you know, well, nah, so that's what it was. So when I said, well, I, I, I got to get some exposure here. So my very first project, you know, the very first Nobel project, is somehow I got you know uh, talking. I heard you know that the people up in the president's office, so the president, the CEO, the, all the monkey mucks way, you know, upstairs, you know, um, they needed something to keep track of all their time and, and, and effort and whatever. So I go, I can, I'm going to put a network in there and I'm going to write you a program, a calendaring program or whatever, that's going to keep track of all that and you can be able to share it. So the CEO and the president, you'll be able to see each other's calendars and and and, cha and change it. Wow, well, good way to get. Now again, again, I didn't know. I, 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 I didn't know why you do this. So I actually used Lotus macros and Lotus to write this calendaring program mm -hmm. and put it on, you know, you know, a shared drive on a on, on a Nobel network or whatever, and. Well, lo and behold, they all loved it. They they used this program. I mean, wow. so the, the president of the company, the CEO, whatever, you know, they had the very first or whatever. So whenever someone other so area of the company, this was lucky. Or lucky, lucky. Yeah. And that's Glenn, do you give a feel for how your calendar worked? Was it a spreadsheet basically? Yeah, it was. A, it was. It was a spreadsheet with macros. 
So, so a macro would do something like schedule an appointment. You'd have a, a macro. Well, you do that, and, and 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 actually draw out the calendars, you know, for each month or whatever. Yeah. You know, I did a, a monthly calendar, or whatever, oh, allow you to mm -hmm. yeah. to put events oh, in or whatever. It, it, it was as simple as that. You know, add an event, delete an event, or whatever. Look at the calendar. It was, but it was a, it was a Lotus application. How long did it take you to create it? I don't know, a month or two. Yeah. Yeah, a month. And you, did you do it full time as an employee, or did you yeah. do it on the side? No, no, that was that it. That was your job, your project. Well, I mean, well, again, you, I was working in the end user computing or whatever, and that was you were the, the IT manager. Well, well for, for that, well, the desktop that, manager for that for that for that group or whatever. Yeah. So once that was a success, anytime some other area of the company wanted a Novell network, and it had to get approved by the treasurer or whatever, who was using this. <laughs> A foot in yeah. the door. Absolutely, it, I never had a problem, you know, getting one of these approved, or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. you know whatever area of the company, because they understood what it was, mm -hmm. they were using it, and you know, the so, so all the other, you know, the other area had it sort of, sort of justify what they wanted to use but it for, was and there it any, was there any resistance from the mainframe users, mainframe uh, shops? Uh, whatever you think, over managing your mainframe or mini computers. I, I, I think it was it, it was a it, it, it was slow and steady, you know, growth or whatever. It wasn't like we didn't take away the mainframe. We, you know, we didn't take any of that away. This was just adding. In your in your company, the mainframe was separate shop, and the, the people who were dealing with the PCs and local area network, they were the separate groups. Yeah. I mean, they were separate not, people in the IT. So they department. were not conflicting with each other. No, 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 absolutely not. And, and and again, a lot of times, the PCs and whatever were connecting to the mainframe. So we weren't taking that away. We were just adding some functionality to what they already had. Um, and was this networking only for the smaller computers, or were the mainframes also able to be networked? They, well, the mainframes were already there, and they and they had Ethernet through the building, so you know, so so. Oh, they were already. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so right. So so they they, they they were there already. But these networks were totally separate. You didn't integrate the Novell network in with the mainframe. Well, well, well we I, I, the first one was a standalone or whatever. But very soon after that, we said, well, we have Ethernet in the building or whatever. You know, <laughs> why run our own cable? Let's just connect to the Ethernet that's in the building. Yeah, given whatever. your future profession, part branch of the profession, what was the backup for your original program for the Novell yeah. um, spreadsheets? Backup? You mean backup? What? What did you do for backup oh, for yeah. the program that you wrote? What backup? Well, it was, you what? said it was on a shared drive. Yeah, I, I think that the fact that, that, that having several copies of it in, in several locations, oh, I think that's cards? what it was. 80, 80 punch cards? <laughs> no, not that, that, no, there was punch, punch cards were gone by the time. <laughs> well, I mean, if it was based on Lotus spreadsheets. I mean, Lotus, I thought I had thought about backup long before, you know, Len came along. I, I don't think so. I, 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 no, I, I, you kind of wing it. You winged it. Yeah. I, I think I, 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 I think it was no more than, than saving several copies. Okay. Oh, you said it wasn't like a scheduled nightly backup. It was more the prudence of the user. Well, I think saving, you know, saving but manual directories into in, in, in several locations. But wasn't wasn't that um, a server? You know, the very typical like a server with users connect to the server to Ethernet or whatever network um, back then. Well, that's, I mean, that's what the Novell was. It was like right. a shared drive or right. whatever, you know. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. So you and probably how... have, a, like, a, one part of a server that's backing things up just to, you know, I, 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 Again, I don't think we had too much backup stuff right at, the beginning. At, 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 at the beginning. Was this the very first version of Novell or, like, one of the very first versions of Novell? It was, it was it was right up right up there. I mean, it wasn't very first version, but it was it was you know, early eighty six, you know, like yeah. early eighty six. Yeah, yes, it it was fairly early. And they saw people like you as being evangelists, people who would get this uh, get a foothold with this. That was smart of them. Well, Ray, I, again, it was it was the, you know the, the CEO Ray Norder or whatever uh, yeah. that, that you know that just by a fluke, you know. But, but, but it also sounds like he, he, could have, he could have just brushed you off. I mean, like, 
I've seen leadership act in a lot of different ways. It sounds like in this case he. But I mean, again, it was a growing company, and, and he understood that you know he, he has to make a foothold. And again, if if if, was smart. if he sees you know Lockheed, I, I want to get into Lockheed, you know, but I don't know if it's even Lockheed. You know, I think it was just Sanders at the very beginning. Yeah, well, Lock, Lockheed yeah. bought bought out. You know, so it was but it was it that was a large enough you know defense contract or whatever yeah. that would be a very good reference for them. If, if well, and mm. I think you said the word user group came out of his mouth. Which means I, and, and, and again, I don't think we were the very first, but we might have been the second or third. Whatever, but the fact that you know, was so mind. I think there was, there was another one in Texas or something like that stuff. So we were we were right there at, at you know right near the beginning.